All right, our company, Bulldog Manufacturing Inc., has revenue that matches this equation right here, not R equals R of X equals 9X, and it has cost that match this equation right here, where C of X is equal to X cubed minus 6X squared plus 15X, where X is in thousands of units. I'm thinking uh, twinkling Christmas festive holiday lights, okay? What production level will maximize our profits? Well, one of the cool things about this uh, that our book talks about is that you get maximum profit where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. Well, what was that? Marginal revenue, marginal revenue is the same thing as R prime. Marginal cost is the same thing as C prime. So all we have to do is find the derivative of these two functions and set them equal. That's going to be our model. Then we find our critical points from that, and we're off and running. So if I have um, r of x equals 9x, so r prime is 9, c of x is equal to x cubed minus 6x squared plus 15x, so c prime is equal to 3x squared minus 12x plus 15. And all we have to do is set, set these guys equal to each other and solve it out. Okay, set it equal and solve it out. So 9 equals 3x squared minus 12x minus plus 15. And uh, we're going to subtract 9 from both sides and make a 0 because that's how you solve a quadratic. And uh, not an equal sign there. 15 minus 9 is 6, last I checked. Um, I don't know. I'm Divide out by 3, because I've got a 3 in each term. So x squared minus 4x plus 2 does not factor. Does not factor. So into quadratic equation, or... You could graph this and see where the graph crosses the x-axis. Now, keep in mind, we want to have a positive number of things that we're creating. So if we get a zero that tells us that we have to create negative 27 units, we can't use that because we're going to create units. So go ahead and punch this into your calculator real quick or use quadratic formula or graph it and see where you end up. Pause the video if you need to and come back to me when you think you've got an answer. So when I punched it in, I get two things. I get uh, 0 0.586 and I get uh, 3.414. And these are in thousands of units, okay? These are in thousands. And this is how many units I would need to create in order to maximize my profit. So that's that's really um, a really interesting way to look at um, maximizing profits for your company. If you if you have a revenue equation, you've got a cost equation. You can take the derivative of both of those things and set them equal to each other. And wherever your zeros are, that's where your max profit occurs. Pretty cool.